El Paso recovers from Saturday's tragedy. The El Paso Police Department continues to work, finding out more each day about the motive uh, of the suspect. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from East El Paso with a look at what investigators have found. Lieutenant Dustin Liston is a part of the El Paso Police Department and a part of the team that was credited for finding the suspect's manifesto. He says that the day of the shooting, they faced many hurdles to try and lock down exactly what was going on. At 10.39 a.m. on Saturday, August 3rd, tragedy struck the Sun City. But within six minutes, the El Paso first responders were on the scene. Uh, there were some agencies I didn't even recognize. Um, and it was, I've never seen anything like it. I've Lieutenant Dustin Liston is the director of the El Paso Fusion Center. It is a part of a multi-agency tactical response and information exchange for the region and was the team that found the shooter's manifesto. We were able to uncover this manifesto relatively quickly, um, but we weren't able to attribute it to the suspect. Um, uh, until later. According to Liston, it was posted on social media minutes before the shooting began. Another part of their investigation was sifting through information, including false reports, like there being multiple shooters and multiple locations. A lot of false information was being passed around, and that, that's the hard part of the job, is trying to sift through what is factual and what is not, and um, people were seemed more than willing to share um, theories or um, unsubstantiated hoaxes. So um, as you know, the a lot of resources were diverted to another location which wasn't involved. The El Paso Police Department ruled out multiple shooters and we know now that the incident was secluded to Walmart with one shooter. And we are outside of that Walmart right now where you can still see this memorial behind me growing days after that shooting occurred. And currently investigators are still looking into that manifesto to try and figure out just what led to this deadly shooting. Reporting live in East El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Thank you, Shelby. President Trump heads to Texas and Ohio today where investigations are underway after the deadly shootings over the weekend. And